Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to give you an in-depth review of Oxygen OS 12 stable build for the OnePlus 8 series devices. I'll also address all the bugs and problems with this build. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. If we go into the about info section, you can see that the build number is C.21, which is Oxygen OS 12 stable build. The build was released almost a week ago and since then I have been using it on my OnePlus 8T. My overall experience has been really positive except for some minor issues. First a lot of users were asking if the fingerprint sensor or face unlock have slowed down but no that is not the case. The fingerprint sensor and face unlock are as fast as they were on Oxygen OS 11 if not more. Next if we talk about the overall performance it is really good and OnePlus has improved Oxygen OS 12 a lot with updates. The phone is snappy fast and very responsive all the animations app opening closing everything is just working great however it is still not optimized for gaming the max fps that you can get is 45 to 55 in bgmi with lags and jitters there is still no way to enable 90 fps in bgmi so if you are someone who plays a lot of bgmi then either roll back to oxygen os 11 or install an android 12 custom rom comment down if you want a full gaming review of oxygen os 12 a lot of users also reported that they were facing jitters and lags which comes on the beginning of the video while recording. However, if I go into the camera app and do video recording on 1080p 60fps, you can see there is no lags or jitters in the starting of the video. And I never faced this issue on previous builds also. Now let's talk about the battery. The battery life has been very very good for me. I am getting somewhere around 7 to 8 hours of screen on time on average without gaming and I have not faced any battery drains. And the same goes for the charging speeds. No issues with that. If someone is facing issues with battery or charging speed, a clean install is recommended. Some of the users also reported that always on display is not working properly. Fingerprint icon is also not shown properly on always on display. However, you can see that always on display is working fine and this issue has been fixed. Moving on, a few users were also asking if 5 GHz band is present in personal hotspot or not in C.21. So yes, it is still present. Overall, this build is very stable. I have not faced much issues. However, I have faced some lags and jitters here and there while using the device. It doesn't happen always, but yes, the phone does lag sometimes for a split second or so. Another thing that is a problem is that OnePlus has still not added Material U theming in Oxygen OS 12.1. And it has been a lot of time since the release of Oxygen OS 12, but the main feature of Android 12, which is Material U theming, is still not available. So those were all the issues and problems that I am facing with this build. Overall performance has been good and Oxygen OS 12 is usable now if you don't do much gaming. I just hope they fix the gaming issues with the coming builds. If you are facing any other issue, I will suggest you to clean install this build. That will fix most of the problems and if you can't do a clean install then waiting for the update is your only option. That's all for this video. Comment down if you are facing any issues on Oxygen OS 12. Subscribe to the channel for more tech videos. Thank you for watching.